And so, so then it becomes even more important mm. that you strengthen, you strengthen your, your centre here and that everything, you learn how to drop everything. So it's not that then you'll be with somebody who's crying, let's say, and you'll not feel anything, you're just mm -hmm. flying over shit. You won't feel yeah. that at all. Mm -hmm. But what you will begin to feel is your system gets stronger mm -hmm. and you're more able to really open into the pelvis and drop, drop and strengthen in the pelvis. That it's like you need your pelvis to carry your heart. Mm -hmm. You need the strength in the lower down TM to manage the opening in the middle down TM. And that's part of the problem with a lot of other spiritual practices. Certainly, I suffered from that, was I did far too much practice that was opening the middle and the upper dantian and nothing down here. Mm -hmm. So my sensitivity was off the planet mm -hmm. and everything was coming in. I had no means of sort of stopping it really and I got really damaged by it. Not too off centre. Well, yeah, it did a bit more than that to me. It's yeah. almost like des yeah. like desperation yeah. to, to have that in front of you. Even yeah. like watching the news becomes a distressing thing. Yes, which is, you know, not a bad thing half the time. Mm. Yeah. You know, so also um, what happens, as Ra was saying and, and Clara was saying, these are other elements. So yes, there's the awakening, the low down TN, and you have to take care of um, watching TV and the internet and all that stuff will be part of Yang Sheng far in, in, um, in today's world. Mm. So that all to do with what you're consuming. That you watch. Mm -hmm. What you're like consuming. You wouldn't watch a horror movie because yeah. that's putting yeah. like debris yeah. in you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. just you just have to take care that you you know what you what you take into your system. It becomes part of, and it sort of becomes more and more natural to do that, particularly when the lower down TN is more active because you have to, because you suddenly find this is not I can't do this anymore. I can't eat these foods anymore. Or you, you might be ignoring that in it because you know it's quite difficult often for us to really shift our diet, but it has to be done because at some point your system will just demand that you do that. And the same with horror movies or you know um, certain people. I mean, the truth is, is that the 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 um, as the Nagel process increases, that the arduous things drop away, and that does sometimes increase. <laughs> sometimes quite dramatically. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's what did you say? Stuff. Stuff. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. so that is, as we've talked before, you know, in class, that that often is, uh, is just one of the things, is that things start to kind of fall apart a bit. A bit? <laughs> <laughs> <Just>. <laughs> okay. so you didn't have that on your what's your thing? Yeah, no, no, I, I certainly won't. <laughs> So that's the what you were saying, actually, Jenny, from the internal to the external. That's how, another way that that works, is that when the internal changes, the external changes. Mm -hmm. It just does. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we often talk about, don't we, that we, we really want change, that we want transformation, that we want growth. Well... Mm -hmm. <laughs> Be careful what you want to oh, Yes, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> if you really want it, <laughs> for one thing, it's going to... It's going, you're going to need to meet your edge. It's impossible to meet change without meeting it's your edge. Well, it? It? <laughs> and if you meet your edge, you should hang out at that edge for a while and accept it and open to it and breathe into it and be present with it. It will start to create transformation. That transformation will occur inside your physical body. It will start to occur inside the energy body. It will occur in your mind. And then that will start to occur in your life. So it just, that's just what will happen. And partly that's because, again, related to this conversation about the five spirits, is that as the five spirits start to balance, you become closer and closer and closer to your, what is it in Taoism they call your name. Mm -hmm. That you start to get aligned to your, your, the will of heaven, the direction actually that's coming from another, whole other dimension of life that you start to be able to, this is the heaven and earth thing, that you start to be able to channel through your system. <clears throat> so therefore you need to think less and less and less. So it helps the removal of all that anxiety and worrying because you just start to trust that you just have to start to respond. More and more you're in response to the pulses that are coming through you 
rather than you know trying to get in a panic and work it all out and getting really stressed and blah, blah, blah. But decisions start to get easier and easier because everything starts to harmonize there's more stillness you can reflect in stillness you can wait before you do something you can wait before you say something you've you've got choice over how you start to respond to the things that show themselves in your life and that's one of the, another one of the byproducts of of these things coming together yeah. it never is and it won't, it doesn't suddenly change that you know, all of a sudden it gets easy to hang out with something that's really deep and old and stagnant in internally. It's never easy. It always makes the mind scream at you to stop. Um, but what gets easier is the way that you understand that. And that's why these talks are important, because it's important to begin to understand what you're doing, why you're doing what you're doing, so that you've got a context through which your ye can start to approach when you're standing there with a terrible pain in your right arm or you're feeling desperately sad that you don't take it you know, too seriously or if you're feeling sad appropriately, you just allow it to move through, let it clear and then move on to the next thing. Yeah. Um, yeah. How can you tell whether you're dropping something down? Say you've got anger coming up. Yeah. Um, I find myself in the thinking, okay, I'm going to just, just drop it down, just drop it down. Yeah. But sometimes I wonder whether I'm actually just suppressing it. Yeah. I'm just putting my lid on it. Yeah. So how yeah. can you know? Yeah, that's a good question. Or... Really good question. So the thing to do is to take a notice of the after effect. <laughs> so when you drop it down, how do you feel then? Do you feel more open, more connected? Is there more flow? Because if there is, you did the right thing. If you feel more shut down and a bit compressed and tighter, then you suppressed it. So some of that is a textural. You have to, a lot of this is, that's why it's an art. Is because this is part of the art form. Is when do you just step away from something and release it? Or when do you actually just really need to let yourself feel it? And let it wave through the body and, you know, kind of move out in a, really move out. So the only advice we can give you with that really is to just notice, you know, do both and notice the after effect. And gradually what you get used to is you get to sort of, you get a kind of textural, vibrational feel of, <coughs> of what's best. And then you get it wrong too, and that's okay. Yeah. It's not the end of the world to get it a bit wrong. If you just can't forget. Emotions are going on. You don't want to be in emotions for sort of hours. You know, that's not healthy. If you're feeling um, overwhelming and you can't stop them, then just stop, shake out, go for a walk, you know, five or ten minutes, more than enough with a feeling. It's enough. Yeah. Huh? <coughs> something like that, just something, just do something, just do something, just to put the mind somewhere else and have a shake and then go back to practice when you, when you feel ready. Yeah. <coughs>